Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical circles fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, C, D, E, F, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, D, F uh, is the diagonal uh, of this uh, rectangle, and P and Q are the points of uh, tangency, and moreover, uh, A and uh, B are the centers of these uh, identical uh, circles and furthermore uh, this side length uh, of this rectangle uh, cf uh, is uh, 21 uh, units whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, ef uh, is uh, 28 and uh, m n h and g are the points of tangency as well and now our task is uh, to find the distance uh, between these uh, two centers A and B. In other words, we need to find the length uh, A, B. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see that we are dealing with this uh, rectangle C, D, E, F. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, EF is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, CD. If this side length is uh, 28, this has got to be 28 uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDF, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 21 and uh, 28. And now we are going to calculate uh, its longest uh, leg uh, DF. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets 3, 4 and 5. And if I multiply all these numbers by 7 uh, across the board, then our new triplets is going to become uh, 3 times 7 is going to give us uh, 21, 4 times 7 is going to give us uh, 28 and 5 times 7 is going to give us uh, 35. And since our side lengths are 21 uh, and 28, so therefore uh, this uh, longest leg uh, df uh, is going to be 35 units and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this center a with these uh, points of uh, tangency h and g as you can see i have connected uh, a and g and uh, a and h as well and now we can see that this uh, a g and uh, a h are the radii of this uh, circle let me call this radius uh, lowercase r and this is going to be radius uh, lowercase r as well and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this given uh, diagram here we got this uh, radius and this is our tangent line so no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees so therefore in our case uh, these two angles this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, CHAG is a square where uh, this uh, side length is going to be equal to this side length and this side length is going to be this side length if this is R this is going to be R and this is going to be lowercase r as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole cd length uh, is uh, 28 and this uh, tiny length uh, ch is uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, this segment uh, dh is going to be 28 uh, minus r and likewise uh, this side length uh, cf uh, is uh, 21 this side length uh, cg is lowercase r so therefore uh, this segment uh, fg is going to be 21 uh, minus r and now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn uh, to one uh, circle from the same uh, external point then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram so therefore this segment uh, oa is going to be equal to this segment uh, ob now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, problem we can see that uh, this uh, tangent uh, gf uh, is going to be equal to this uh, tangent uh, fp so therefore if this uh, segment is 21 minus r then this segment is going to be 21 uh, minus r as well 
and likewise uh, this uh, segment uh, this uh, tangent uh, dh uh, is going to be equal to this uh, tangent uh, pd if this segment is 28 uh, minus r then this segment is going to be 28 uh, minus r uh, as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, whole uh, diagonal uh, df that is the sum of these uh, two segments uh, 21 uh, minus r and uh, 28 minus r and we also know that this whole diagonal is equal to 35 so therefore let me go ahead and add uh, the segments uh, 21 uh, minus r plus uh, 28 uh, minus r is going to be equal to 35 let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we are going to get uh, 49 minus uh, 2r equals to 35 let's go ahead and subtract 49 from both sides this is gone so therefore we got negative 2 times uh, r equal to negative uh, 14 let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2 so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be 7 units and here's our next step this time i have connected uh, this center b of this another circle with this point of tangency m so therefore this is going to be our radius uh, r and this is going to be our radius r as well since these uh, two circles are identical and furthermore this angle is going to be 90 degrees according to circle theorem since this is our radius and this is our tangent line and in this uh, next step i have extended this uh, line uh, ga all the way to t and as a matter of fact we got uh, this uh, right triangle uh, a b t and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, length uh, is lowercase r so therefore uh, this length is going to be lowercase r since uh, this is the radius and now we know that our radius uh, value is 7 units uh, this r value is 7 units uh, and this uh, radius uh, r value is 7 units uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, segment uh, hl is going to be 28 minus 7 and then minus 7 uh, once again 28 minus 7 minus 7 is going to give us 14 units if this segment is uh, 14 units uh, then this uh, another segment at is going to be 14 units long as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, abt whose uh, side lengths are uh, 14 uh, 7 and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, length uh, a b so therefore we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this longest leg as our side c i'm going to call this side lowercase a and this side lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case 14 whole square b is 7 whole square equal to c square let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 196 plus 49 equal to c square so therefore c square turns out to be 245 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our side length c turns out to be equal to and now we can see the square root of 245 I have copied it down over here and if we simplify this is going to be equal to 7 times the square root of 5 so therefore our c length is going to be 7 times the square root of 5 units so therefore our this uh, a b length turns out to be 7 times the square root of 5 units so thus our uh, a b length turns out to be 7 times square root of 5 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 15 point uh, six five uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye